Hi, I'm Brian with the HVAC School Podcast. One nice thing that comes with having everything in one case is that you've got all of your tools in one place. The new Testo Smart Probe case has both the refrigerant smart probes as well as all of your other accessory probes. And the 510i is a great tool. We've done a video previously showing you how to measure total external static pressure. But now let me show you something else that's very practical, which is to measure a pressure drop across a component. You can do this across evaporator coils, heat exchangers, reheat coils, many other devices. But I want to show you how to do it over an air filter which is probably one of the most common differential pressure measurements that you're going to take. First off, we need to zero out the sensor. Now the sensor zeroed out. And all we're going to do, we have one probe that's already placed on top of the filter. And we're going to place that on the negative side because it has a higher negative pressure. And then we're going to take our probe that was previously in the supply and we're going to connect that on the other side of the filter so that way we can measure the pressure drop. So you can see we have a 0.13 inch water column pressure drop across this air filter, which is pretty good given that this is a MERV 11 high efficiency air filter. The reason you would take this measurement is because in many cases you may have an air filter that's restrictive. Could be because it's dirty, but it also could be because you have more airflow moving over a particular filter than it's designed for. This is actually more common than you may be aware of, and using a static pressure drop test like this can show you where the source of an airflow problem may be stemming from. It's a very practical test to do. This is just another easy measurement you can take with your Testo Smart Probes kit all in one place in the new, larger Testo Smart Probes case. Thanks for watching. Thank you.